class, I am going to do a demonstration on how to save an Illustrator file. Now, now pretend for a moment that I have taken seven shapes and made four unique designs using those same seven shapes in different configurations. And I want to save my file and um, for the classroom, I want to save it as a JPEG. Now, notice that it's in an Illustrator file format. That .ai indicates that this is an Illustrator file. So when I've completed my design and I want to save it, I would like to go to Save for Web and Devices. And this has two very important functions. Number one, we are converting it to a JPEG. And number two, we're um, reducing the, the it, like compressing the size. It reduces the, the um, image file size a little bit and sometimes a lot, and so it, it uploads faster, it downloads faster, and it takes up a lot less storage space on everybody's hard drives. So we want to make sure that JPEG High is checked, nothing else, none of these other systems are what we want. We only want JPEG High because we want a high resolution so it looks good. So this says JPEG, right? If any of these other ones are checked, you want to make sure it's checked as JPEG and you want it High is good. Okay, and we want to make sure Progressive is checked because that that, that's good for the internet. Okay, so then I want to hit save and that pops up my other window and you know I can select where I want to save it. I can select it, you know, I can anywhere I want to save it, but I want to save it to my design summer session FND 112 folder. So I've got that selected and I don't want to put it in my week one. I just want to put it in my general folder. Okay, so notice that it says .jpeg because, because this was uh, checked, all these things were checked, it automatically added a JPEG. Sometimes a different, you know, different system might not add a JPEG, so you want to make sure that it says JPEG. Now, if you go in and, and type in your name and everything and that runs off the side here and you can't see it, make sure you use your arrow. Now, I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. Say I want to change my, um, I want to add my name to this. Oops, I know how to spell my own name there. Uh, just initials, good. We want assignment. Oops, I want an underscore. I want to keep it consistent. Sometimes we get these little characters in there, and then it won't download. So I, that's my name. But say I had, you know, say I had a really long name, and and I put that in, and notice that my name is so long there that I can't see. So I could click somewhere towards the end here and then use my my forward arrow to see and I if I scroll all the way to the very end and it doesn't move anymore and it says just, it ends with dot jpeg I know that I have saved it in the proper file format okay so um, I am going to save my file save and now I've saved my fo file in my folder and uh, notice here I am I got my uh, Adobe Photoshop Bridge open and there it is. I've saved it and so that's done and now I want to close this one. I close that and the window will pop up. Save, don't save. Now if I've spent a lot of time and made a beautiful design and I may need to go back and modify it later I should save that but as I really didn't I'm just gonna hit don't save so I'm done. Alright I hope that makes sense and um, helps to uh, clarify the formatting.